As you can tell, I don't have any real musical skills on the keyboard, so I'm always looking for ways to improve how I make music, on the Deluge or with other synths. And one plugin I found on Logic is Captain Chords. I'm going to show in this video how I can use Captain Chords to program bass lines, melodies and chord progressions in on the Deluge, and make up for the fact that I've absolutely no musical ability. Let's get started. First of all, I have a new Logic project here. I'm going to create a software instrument track, and I will use the empty channel strip for now, because uh, we're not really too worried about what's going to go onto it. We'll just click Create here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just on the track header components, get the on off button enabled. We're going to need that in a few minutes. Over here for the MIDI, we're going to actually set the instrument to be the external instrument so we can send MIDI notes from Logic to the Deluge. Now, on my Deluge over here, I have three tracks already loaded in just to speed this video up. I'm able to set the destination to deluge out here. I'm going to set the MIDI channel to one. Open up the piano roll, and we're going to learn this MIDI channel to this track on the deluge. Now when I hit the note, great. We now have track um, MIDI channel one mapped onto that track. Okay, so for this, we're going to use a MIDI FX called Captain Chords for Mixed in Key. Now, there's lots of good videos out there. I'm going to link a few down below. So if we just hit play here, you see it's straight away playing just a straight up A minor chord by sending these three notes to the deluge. It means we have the notes going to the deluge, but there's one thing we're missing, which is to get the uh, MIDI clock to go from Logic correctly to the Deluge. So to do that, we need to go over here into the project settings, go to the MIDI tab under the synchronization options. And for the destination, set it to Deluge out. And don't forget to tick clock. If we hit play now in Logic, you'll hear that the, you'll see the Deluge timeline bar is moving. Then we'll add another one and we'll leave it A minor. And then we'll add D minor. And then we'll finish up on F major. Now, the first thing you'll realize is that sounds very harsh coming off the deluge. And that's because the default MIDI velocity is 100. So I just kind of dial it down to about halfway to about 60, which tends to work better with these synth presets. That's a bit better. Now let's actually add some complexity to these chords. I'm going to create, if we just dial up the complexity to five, it adds in a little bit more to the chord. Now let's play it. You just drag this into the timeline on logic here. So we're just going to pull this back over. Now we're going to go in and turn off the plugin so it doesn't actually send any notes. We're going to go into the piano roll, zoom in on these notes and just nudge them over ever so slightly. And I'll just trim the end. And what this will do is the MIDI transport start message goes to the deluge and then the notes are sent and then the sequencer on the deluge will correctly record the notes. Okay, we've pressed record to arm it and now all I need to do is press play here and we'll play through this and the sequencer on the deluge will record the notes. So I loaded up this bass preset which we're going to use to create a bass line. So first thing I'll do is just duplicate this track here. We'll rename this one to be chords, and we'll call this one bass. I want to go in and turn off this track. If you mute it, you're just muting audio. So I want to disable the track, power it off, so no MIDI notes are going to be sent, because what we need to do now is change the MIDI channel in the external instrument on our bass to two, so we can learn it to the second track. Let's go into the deluge and get ready to learn it. 
And this time we're going to choose Captain Deep from the Deep Dark Sea. Captain Deep, we're going to connect it to chords. What this does is it will make the bass line be in tune with the chords we made earlier. Okay, we're going to record this in. So again, we will record arm on the deluge. And then we just hit play over here. Great, we're making progress. Now let's do the same again to create a melody. Now we can go into our Captain plugin and this time we will choose Captain Melody. Again, we're going to go in and we're going to just correct by moving the first note off the very first measure. Make sure that the velocity for all the notes isn't coming in too hard because sometimes that causes the deluge to peak. We'll record arm the deluge and let's record these into the sequencer. The nice thing about this is once you have these configured, you can actually go back in and open up this plugin and you can start developing a more complex, you know, it was the verse, you can work on the pre-chorus, the chorus, drag them all in, sequence them on the timeline here, record them in the deluge and then play around on the deluge or carry these with you as like MIDI sequences that you can use in the future. I hope you find this useful. Please leave me some comments, ask some questions, and hit that like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.